Okay, Richard, let's move on to the trainers and the jockeys who come to Pontefract then. Um, talking jockeys first, who, who do you think rides the course very well? We get a lot of the um, Northern Circuit jockeys coming. Paul Hannigan, Tony Hamilton, Sylvester D'Souza all ride the course really well. I'd have to say Kieran Fallon, in his days with um, Jack and Linda Ramsden, used to be renowned for, for riding winners here. That He always seemed to just judge the pace to a nicety. And it is the judge in the pace, do you think, that makes the difference here? Yeah, not kicking on too soon. If you go for home too soon and approaching the two furlong bend, you really need a horse with a, a lot of stamina. You often see horses kicking too soon and then not being able to maintain it all the way to the line. Mm. And there's been quite a few uh, good horses, you say, that have really made a reputation here. Yeah, we the the old adage of horses for courses is is never more true than at Pontefract. Uh, we had a, a great old favourite called Mr Wolf who, who retired last year, uh, but I think he had nine or ten course wins, a massive favourite with the crowd. And he used to so jump from the, the back. <laughs> he used to um, jump from the stalls and just try and burn everything off. He, he didn't have a great record anywhere else. I think he won at Catrick a few times, um, but he had a great record at Pontefract. It was um, a real crowd favourite, was he? Real crowd favourite. We there was a, an old stayer called Jamaican Flight, uh, yeah. who um, also used to run in the long distance races, and you'd often see. Coming to the mile and a quarter mile bend, he'd be 20 or 30 lengths clear. And I think the the Pontefract crowds love being able to cheer a horse on who, who's wearing his heart on his sleeve and, and mm. trying his damnedest to, to hold and on. You say, is that local course knowledge? I mean, obviously, people who come here all the time get to know these horses, yeah, don't they? Absolutely. And horse, uh, I mentioned Mince earlier. She's, um, I think she's won two or three times here from as many visits. We had a, there was a really good sprinter a couple of seasons ago of Roger Charlton's called Baited Breath. Mm -hmm. He won his maiden here and then followed up in a handicap here over his first couple of runs mm -hmm. um, and then went on to be a group one sprinter. Mm -hmm. Roger Charlton often brings us some nice horses here. He had a cityscape entered here last year, mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately the ground went against him and, and he was, was taken sure. out, but we were... Group, devastated group horse, as though, yeah. we'd have loved to have seen cityscape here but hopefully yeah. there'll be plenty more to come and that leads nicely on to the trainers uh, we've talked jockeys a bit um what trainers do you get here who are you know again do well here and you think they definitely target horses here the the champion trainer here as i suspect a, a, a lot of the northern race courses richard farhi mm. he has a lot of runners a lot of winners they're always worth following um we, who rides for him most of the time Tony Hamilton generally, but if um, Paul Hannigan's available, then he rides. Lee Topless rides some of them too. Mm -hmm. um, again, a lot of the local local jockeys who know the course well. As I mentioned earlier, we get a lot of the new market trainers: Sir Michael Stout, John Gosden, Mark Henry Evans. Cecil. Yeah. <coughs> excuse me, Henry Cecil. Um, I remember him, Henry Cecil, bringing um, Tranquil Tiger, Tiger to win one of our listed races a couple of seasons ago. Mm -hmm. um, he, he brings a lot lot to us. Marco Botti, as you say, has a good good record here. Mm -hmm. And Mick Appleby, obviously there's some more local trainers as well that come here. But Yeah, Mick Appleby um, does very well with a, a small string. Um, with the number of horses he, he brings here, they, they seem to have quite a good strike, work, strike rate. Mm. And any of the Yorkshire, the Midland lot come down? Absolutely, Mark Johnson has has runners quite frequently. Mm. Um, Joe Fanning tends to ride from him for mm. for him, and um, everyone knows what how good a front combination they are. Yeah, and what a great front running rider Joe Fanning is. He always seems to ride a, a pace very nicely from the front. Yeah, definitely. And I think coming up that hill, you need to have that position, don't you? Definitely. Um, Mark Johnson's had a winner already this season, Blue Wave, and. Joe Fanning rode him from the front. Nothing ever got close. He, he kicked on, and I think he won by five or six lengths. And what trip was that over? Mile and a half, to mile the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Anything else you think that someone coming to Pontefract should look for when they're coming racing here? Obviously, they want to enjoy their day more. Anything advice you can give them? If, if you're having a bet, definitely some good course form. Look for a horse that's um, enjoyed itself here. We often find that um, horses that run here and at Beverly 
both they're both long sweeping uphill finishers. Mm -hmm. um, they something that runs well here will run well at Beverly and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, a few years ago, trainers used to bring their horses to Pontefract if they were looking to run them at Epsom, mm. just to get them used to running around a bend. Because of the undulations as well. That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Um, we high rise when it's made in here before going on to win the derby. Mm -hmm. And we often have horses who, who run, um, not necessarily win here, but then go on to run well at Epsom. Mm -hmm. um, there's a horse running in the Dante today, Libertarian, that won its made in here for Elaine Burke. Oh, and, um, and so that's Epsom and Beverly, you'd say, is very, very similar courses. Any other courses in the country that you think will the form transfer well from there? Well, Pontefract is very unique. There's not many courses that have such undulations and demanding. And, yeah. and demanding. You need a mix of speed and stamina. Um, they say that horses that run over six furlongs here are likely to, to need seven furlongs elsewhere. Mm. Um, which you can well believe having walked it. it. Um, so definitely speed and stamina, a good combination. Lovely. Well, thank you for your time today, Richard. Really enjoyed talking to you about Pontefract. And hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight, helps you find a few more winners when you come here racing.